Alright, hi people, it's Shakes here, and I'm here to do an amassing review for you guys of the SH Figure Arts 1989 Michael Keaton, Tim Burton, Batman. So, yeah. Um, and as you guys saw, I think it was last year or two years ago, I got the um, Dark Knight SH Figure Art Batman, and I really like that film. I like the 89 film fine, I don't like Batman Returns because I think it's not a good film, but, um,. It's not, it's not even really a good Tim Burton movie, which is, I think, why people like it is because they like Tim Burton or they like old Tim Burton, so they like that film for some reason. But yeah, it's not a good movie. I'm sorry. Um, it's not. It's not a good Batman movie. It's not a good Tim Burton movie. It, it's not a, like to like it as a Tim Burton movie is, I think, an insult to Tim Burton because like it doesn't show him at his best. But yeah. Um. But that's basically enough of that. Um, so, the box is a little dented because it kind of shifted around a bit on the bed a little bit as I had it on the bed. But, yeah, um, box right here with the 1989 Batman logo, SH Figure Arts, a, uh, sticker, a quality sticker and everything. And then the language, or the stuff in Japanese, because basically they're just straight up importing these into, or from Japan, they're not even translating the boxes into English for the text, unless that they're already in English, which for some reason in Japan they are, so, yeah, Tomashi Nation, Bandai, and everything, Batman logo, SH Figure Arts, same stuff on the other side, then on the back here, interestingly, they have the window to view the figure in the back now, at least for this box, so, yeah, it's interesting. SHV Wards, Batman, some uh, stock photos, recreating stuff from the movie, and then the um, stuff that this comes with, and then the figure right there, um, some more information and everything, Batman, the bottom with the Batman logo and everything, stuff on the bottom that's translated in English, and this is a sticker. This is just a sticker that they put on here over the original Japanese text. You can kind of see it fading in um, underneath the sticker. Oh my god, and it's kind of lazily put on, too. Great. Um, and on the top, there's a Batman and SH Big Arts logo as well. So, yeah. So, let's first take a look at the um, accessories that this comes with. Uh... First, you get an alternate uh, Batman head with an open mouth, which kind of makes me it makes me feel like they modeled this figure set after Val, uh, Val Kilmer rather than Michael Keaton. But yeah, open mouth instead of closed. So yeah, uh, which you can uh, just put on the figure and. Everything after you take the head off the figure that's on it right now, which I'll show off in a second. Got a batarang, which is interesting. Um, grappling hook, which I like um, for the most part. And actually drop that on the floor. And a bowl fell on the floor. Right? Ah, yeah. uh, man. Okay. Right here are some throwing stars and everything. Which are really, really small and shit. And we have whatever the hell this is. I'm not exactly sure what it is, but it goes on his arm and everything. So, yeah, I haven't seen I haven't seen the '89 movie in a while, and I definitely haven't seen the uh, or Batman Returns in a while. But yeah, so you got a hand. Which 
no idea what this hand is specifically for. Um, got another one like it as well. You get like two of each hand. I was like, what is this triangle on it for? Um, got a couple of these hands. I assume for posing. Um, a couple of hands meant to hold, I believe, either the Batarang or the Ninja Stars. Possibly even the, uh, the grappling hook. Uh, hands like these, which are, which are probably also meant to hold those. Um, and then a single hand here, which I think that this is more for the grappling hook than anything. Um, and then we got the figure itself with the, the cape is made out of like a pleather sort of thing. It has these handles for if you want to stretch out the hands, which... Actually, that's what these hands are for. The ones with the holes in them that I shut off a second ago. But yeah. Um, and in terms of overall accuracy, I think this is actually really well done. They didn't have to do too much in terms of the overall design and everything. Because the, the the suit was made to be this like one black piece made out of leather, I'm pretty sure. And... Um, you didn't really have to go all out to do much in terms of the look and everything. The cape has these perforations, so you can, like, pose it and it'd be fine. But yeah, and then, uh, it's really, really good. You don't get a lot of, uh, articulation on the head because of the way that the figure is built. What the hell? <laughs> well, that's not scary. You can take the full mouth off the thing. You can put it back on, but I don't think it's supposed to be coming off. That's, uh, that's weird. But yeah, so, um... For range of movement, you got a 90 degree angle on the uh, shoulder here. You can move back and forth with the arm a bit. Um, I think this is, is this a double? No, it's just one single ball joint for the elbow. Hands can move 360 because they're on a ball joint themselves. Torso can move back and forth like this. Um, this midsection can move like that. Legs almost a 90 degree angle, um, knees, double ball joint, which is nice, feet, you can move the ankles forward and backward and everything, uh, yeah, there is a slight toe joint for this figure as well, um, and everything, so, yeah, overall I do like this figure, and if you do like the 89 Batman, or even Batman Returns, I would recommend getting it. It is actually pretty good. Um, yeah, I do like... Uh, I just like SH figure arts in general and, fi and action figures like them. So, yeah. Um, so, basically, that is it. So, um, yeah. So, link description on my shit. Subscribe if you want. And I'll see you guys in the next one.